Different type of vlog today, guys. Skyline has what is called a chapel talk at school. Something that all seniors have to do. It is not a religious talk. It's just held in the chapel and they've been doing it um, oh, bukus of years here at her school. She's just playing, guys. She's practicing, so she's sending us out. Mm -hmm. A door just opened. It's a ghost. Go close it. So Lakeland's like, um, who all goes to this? And I said, the entire school. It's a small school, guys. <laughs> yes, they fit in that small chapel, sort of. There's also upstairs seating, so kids will be up there, too. To your left, my right. Have you practiced at all or have you just been in here goofing off? <laughs> Several of the kids are coming up to give Skyline a hug and wish her good luck. And then all her like some of her close friends get to sit up there with her. Due to human nature, 
nature, it is impossible to stop comparing yourself to others completely, nor should you. There are instances in which comparison can be beneficial. Dr. Susan Haas, an award-winning physician who speaks and writes about stress management, burnout prevention, and mental health, discusses healthy comparison in her blog, where she advises individuals to stop falling prey to a stark underbelly, which does little more than increase feelings of misery and lack in your life. Use comparison instead to become a better person, and maybe even make your little corner of the world a better place. When you find yourself falling into the negative side of this habit, stop and try to focus on what and who inspires you to be the person you are and not who others want you to be. For as Dr. Haas stresses in her work, when you conform solely to others' expectations, then you run the risk of experiencing more misery and lack in your life. For this reason, I challenge all of you to surround yourself with people who build you up and help you realize how unique and special you are. When I finally thought people saw me as part of the cool group in middle school, for some reason I still wasn't happy, and it confused me. Comparing myself to others in order to feel a sense of normalcy or to fit in seemed like the best way to gain acceptance and belonging. Looking back, I now realize the negative effects of this type of comparison. I engaged in unnecessary and harmful gossip judged others for no reason, and frequently caught an attitude with those I love. And I was miserable. I now, I now know that being normal is an imaginary concept, simply because no one is the same. Raise your hand if you've ever found yourself in the middle of a TV series and, that, and Netflix asks you if you were still watching. <laughs> you suddenly realize how bored you have become with the show because every episode was just like the last one. This same situation happens in relationships with other people. If you choose to conform by striving to be like other people or what society deems is normal, then you choose to be foreign. And not one person in this chapel is foreign, simply because we are all so different. Our individual experiences have shaped who we are. We've all learned that snowflakes are completely original and unique. Similarly, there are no two people who are exactly alike. There is no way that you can ever be someone else other than who you are. We are incredibly lucky to go to a school in which there are so many people with different backgrounds and unique adventures in life. But it is our job to share our experiences with the community. Instead of hiding your stories, share them with those around you and listen to others as they share parts of themselves. If you, if you are feeling alone or lost, think to yourself. Is it because I'm concealing who I really am? If you answered yes, know that there is no power to be gained by trying to be just like another person. Look at the people around you and understand that they too feel the need to compare themselves to others the same way you do. We all share this impulse and we are all affected by that pressure. But instead of participating in this harmful tendency, pride yourself in your differences and take the time to learn from others. If you will listen to them and recognize who they are, hopefully they will acknowledge your true self as well. Do not mask the beauty of your uniqueness. Go in peace. Oh, good job. You okay? Yeah. So, how did you feel? How did you think you did? I don't know. You don't know? I think I did fine. You did good. I'm so cold. My hands are so cold. We have came to Rocky's Chicken Shack. It's like a staple place, a restaurant around here. Um, so you order your food up there, and then we just wait. Like I said, famous for their wings.
stuff. It's a thing. Chicken wings and waffles. Yeah. He's laughing at my mom. Yeah, yeah. She was not expecting to have her food flogged before she ate it. She doesn't understand. Blog, yeah. <laughs> See, Tom knows the drill. He knows his food has to be vlogged before he can eat. So tenders, big thing of fries, green beans. Um, I got the cheer wine barbecue chicken sandwich and sweet potato casserole. And Lakeland got the honey mild wings with corn pudding and macaroni and cheese. I thought Skylin did an amazing job on her speech. I had no idea that that was the topic of her speech. Most kids don't tell their family and friends what it's about. They work on it for months. Every senior has to do this. It's kind of like a rite of passage of graduating there. And of course I got teary eyed because <laughs> I was not expecting um, I don't know, just, I guess just the validation that my child actually listens to my advice or as in, you know, how I've always told my kids be leaders, not followers, um, to be yourself, don't adjust to what people think you should be. And the fact that she actually pays attention was very validating for me. Uh, I had no idea that uh, yeah, just no idea that the start of her speech um, was going to be about her mama. So that just um, really, really touched me. And if you know anybody that you think would enjoy Skyline's message, please share with others. And as Skyline said at the end of her speech, go in peace.